hello everyone in this video we'll talk about the future importance uh, you know uh, using decision trees i mean what you mean by future importance so we already seen when we are talking about the linear regression using stats model right so when we build, uh, print the you know the model summary so we used to get the p value right so if the p value is greater than 0.05 and we are considering that particular column future don't have any significant right so what we'll do we can simply remove that uh, particular column there you know the p value tells you tells you the significant of a particular variable or a column or a future right so in the similar way so decision tree also has an you know uh, future where you know it can tell you which future or which column has a significant or not significant right so when we are talking about you know the guinea and entropy in one of our initial videos so based on that you know uh, the information gain guinea or whatever the criteria we choose right it will tell you the best split right the root node all those things right based on the information gain so the more the information gain the more the value of the particular column right and that would be used as a best split so now how decision trees will tell you know the particular column has more future or more importance it is very important as so and so column has no importance so obviously based on the information gain right that we already discussed and you know <clears throat> so there is one more you know uh, function called future importance so this dt1 is our uh, trained you know the model so if you run this you will get something like this zero zero means there is no importance but like we don't know which column this value belongs to right so let me data dot columns oops let me make it code maybe i'll say it will be good so this zero belongs to pregnancy this 0 0.6 belongs to glucose right so <clears throat> there is a way so now here we uh, created uh, you know uh, empty dictionary for futures comma imp in zip of this is one of the future in list no, not in list sorry i mean so when you're looping this will help you so data dot columns right so these are the columns we have and the importance so importance i already created a variable with this particular uh, the response i am storing an importance variable and then i'm storing the so future means very first time we'll get you know uh, the pregnancy glucose something like that right so now when you see this so for pregnancy it says zero which means there is no importance at all so let me copy this and print my dictionary here so that we can relate this <coughs> right and let you see for glucose it give on the most significant which is almost somewhere around 69 percent so compared to other uh, columns that's why this glucose is our root node right and subsequently we have age and bmi right Age has 0 0.13 and BMI has 0 0.162, right? And then, so we have few other columns like skin thickness. Did you see this skin thickness, right? And yeah, that's it. And even if you see the remaining columns, it like glucose. Again, we got the glucose as one more split. Did you see here, right? So with this, right? So maybe i can say like this right so using decision trees i can also find my important columns a significant columns right so now maybe you know uh, let's say if i want to build some other model maybe i can take only this three or four columns and i can try my model right so hope you understand uh, how you know the decision tree will find this significant uh, you know the variables right so hope you enjoy this video Please don't forget to subscribe to my channel. Thank you.